to make the buddy costume, I'm literally going to be kind of winging it as I go. So hopefully I won't miss any steps, but I will try and explain if I do. So I got a yard and a half of orange fleece, an eighth of a yard of blue fleece. This is just an old um, hoodie that Audrey used to have that's Cooper size. I'm just using it for measurements, like to trace the hood. I have a cheap little clearance ball cap from Walmart for the headpiece. And then I have a piece of white foam for the toenails. Um, also, I have all the... Audrey's little hand peeked in. I have all of like the normal sewing equipment, like a sewing machine, uh, like a pin, scissors, pins, all that kind of stuff. So these are what I think I'm going to need. I'll include anything down in the bottom if things are added in. Of the orange material or the material you're going to make the tail out of, cut a... Um, Rectangle big enough to fit around the child's waist. So Cooper's waist is 21 inches. So I'm going to make mine 30 by 8. That way I have enough room to hem and to wrap it around his belly. Now that I have the belly piece cut out, I'm just going to go around and do a 1 inch hem all the way around. Just like folded over and hemmed. Um, that way it can be made into like a big fat belt to go all the way around the baby. So this is kind of how I've done it. Just kind of... Fold in one inch. I've pinned every eight to ten inches, um, and I've already hemmed over these sides. Hi. <laughs> I've measured this around my son. This is about how much I need to overlap. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and attach the Velcro to this strip, this strip, this strip, and this strip. And I'm going to use. Um, you can use sew in. You can hot glue that. I'm going to sew mine in. So this is how the I guess the belt part looks. I've velcroed that in here. They ended up being six, six inch pieces. That way he can kind of grow into it and keep playing with it. But that is how that looks. Okay, so I finished the belt. Um, I cut some of the length out. I just kind of folded the fabric together and sewed the line. Um, but here is the belt. So here is what's going to be the tail. I put wrong sides together and measured a 13 and a half by 10 and a half rectangle and then I measured four inches up here four inches up on this side and then four and a half inches in and four and a half inches in made those marks and then just cut diagonal lines for that and then cut that off then I pinned it together I am leaving like a four to five inch hole here so I can turn it right side out I'm just gonna go ahead and do a half inch seam all along here, kind of make that a point. Um, stop here, start here, and go here. Next, go ahead and cut a seven inch square, and then just fold it into quarters and round the edges just to make this a circle. So here is the circle. I just freehanded it, so that's why it's a little off. Um, I used the PBS website and got printed the um, the pattern for the diamonds, you definitely don't have to, you can make your own. And then the tail I have here is just flipped open, that's why it looks a little off because you still have the opening. But I should have done this first, but I forgot. So I'm just gonna turn this to where the seam is up. I'm gonna cut my blue diamonds and attach those to the tail. Once you have your, you can kind of see the outline, the diamonds put on or whatever marks you wanna put on your dinosaur tail, you put the belt in inside the right side of the tail. It's kind of kind of messes with your mind to do. But then pin that about a quarter inch in and sew both sides here. Next, go around and pin the circle to the outside or the wrong side of the tail. So all the way around pin that. It's all pinned. You can use more pins if you want. Um, just to keep this from shifting, a quick tip is fold this in half and pin it at both sides. That way you make sure that they're not bunched in one side and not. But go ahead and sew a half inch hem around the whole thing. This is how the tail looks once the circle is sewn on. So just use the hole that you left to flip the whole thing inside out and then go ahead and stuff it with the stuffing. This is a good part for little hands to help with. The tail is all stuffed, so I just have this um, 
roughly pinned, I'm just going to use a really small seam with my machine and um, do a quick just closure of that hole. You can also hand sew this, but I try not to hand sew ever, so I'm going to use my machine. And here's how the um, Buddy T-Rex tail looks. I just had my daughter model it. It looks really cute. Um, you could also make your tail longer or shorter. Um, you would just change the length of the the rectangle that you cut that was 13 and a half inches. So I'm going to make the feet next in a separate video. So if you want to watch that, go ahead and thanks for watching.